because you are in such a extreme environment, tiny, tiny little things are going to get you agitated. Six weeks after abandoning the men and women on two remote tropical islands, I went back to see for myself how they managed to stay alive. Good to get it off your chest now and again, Barney. Sometimes the hardest thing about surviving on an island is living with your fellow castaways. It's f***ing immaturity. It's soaking and it's attention seeking. Fair don't know this is not an enjoyable experience for me. I f***ing hate it. You pointing a finger at me and saying, well, you've had sleep, fine. That's your problem. Kyle, we're all sweating our bollocks off up there, fella, and it looks like... Yeah, yeah, fair enough. ...looks like you're doing f***ing when it comes to wood. Before I went into the island, I was worried. It could go one of two ways. When women are great, we're fantastic communicators, good at multitasking. I know we're not finished. I was actually just having a little bit of a rest. Ah. Just... Cool. So give me a break, please. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you haven't finished, that's all. Right. When a group of women are bad, it's b and backstabbing and, and really nasty. So you're not here for the team anymore. You're here for yourself. Are you trying to start an argument? I'm asking that's what you're you saying. You are trying to start that's an argument. That's what you're saying. I've done quite well to hold my tongue, because I could have called her a stupid c like I wanted to. Constantly moaning and grumbling and complaining, and I think, oh, God, if you're doing my head in. If anything's going to make me leave this island, it's the people. It's the lack of the way. I think my major achievement was actually not hitting anybody. I think one of my concerns for you guys right at the beginning is that, you know, you're such diverse people. When the gloves are off because you're tired, you're hungry. From my experience, I can be quite explosive. And that is hard. I don't know. You liked an argument, didn't you, Vic? Did I? <laughs> I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I was taking the bones out so we can use them for the next meal. All there was left to do with that soup was stir it. How difficult can stirring soup be? Because you are in such a extreme environment, Tiny, tiny little things are going to get you agitated. To some would look like you didn't want to go do a harder job. I would say, f you to that person, that's what I'd say. And I was just like, guys, you're arguing about f soup. You know what I mean? Just let's f***ing calm down, eh? There's no need to be like this. I really do think that this experience is the ultimate pressure cooker environment. Living in close quarters like this, it's inevitable. You're going to get conflict. When there's a little bit too much pressure, you need to let it off. You need to have a good swear or a shout or a fallout with somebody. You, whether you're right or wrong, it, it's better. It's better. But listen, Victor, I'm sure it won't be our last little lock in the horns, but no hard feelings, mate. None whatsoever, fella. None whatsoever. If left unchecked, tensions among the men could have torn the group apart. But they came up with their own novel way of dealing with conflict. We've had our morning meetings, yeah. and in that, we've had a beef section. Yeah. If anyone has a problem, it's aired to the group, in front of the group, and talked about like adults. As a result, I think we can all say there's been the odd tiff here and there, but nothing more than the lovers' quarrel. <laughs> anyone got any beef? What's important is that grievances don't fester. If you can shine the light on what you're finding difficult, it tends to go away. Good way to start the day. Do you think we're getting everything off our chest and everything like that? Do you think it's working? Don't want any beef stewing. Uh, <laughs> is that why you wanted to MC just for that jaw? Yeah. That was it. I've been you... thinking about this all night. I thought so. <laughs> the women devised an altogether different approach to healing rifts in the group. Island therapy. I'll start. B, I feel like your positivity is something that I've never come across before. I am so fond of you, Jules, and I think you're hilarious. It's cringe. <laughs> One of the most important qualities is actually kindness, you know, and it's not something you necessarily immediately think is critical to a survivor, but you live with someone for six weeks in those sort of conditions, boy, are you grateful for the person who's kind. Becky, I think you are absolutely wonderful. Maybe we didn't always perfectly get along. There were times where I'd quite like to have gouged their eyes out or stab them in the face. But I will always have experienced that with them, so forever we'll have this amazing bond. Harvey, all that time we spent in the jungle together, I couldn't have got through it without you. You were so positive. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to it. 